In New York today, the Mexican drug lord known as El Chapo appeared in court with a list of complaints. DeMarco Morgan was there. Under a blanket of heavy security, fit for a world leader, the man who twice escaped from maximum security prisons in Mexico made the brief trip just before sunrise from his prison cell in Manhattan over the bridge to federal court in Brooklyn. Facing a 17-count indictment that includes multiple murder, money laundering, and drug trafficking charges, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman has been in solitary confinement 23 hours a day since his extradition two weeks ago. His lawyers pleaded with the court to loosen the restrictions. Public defender Michelle Gallant. I don't think there's any thought that if I have the guards give him a glass of water during a three-hour meeting that somehow that's going to effectuate an escape. But the judge was unsympathetic. I understand it's unusual, he said, but the public history of the defendant is unusual. Unrestrained, yet guarded by a half dozen U.S. Marshals, El Chapo never once looked at the judge. At one point, he waved and smiled at his wife, seated in the gallery, and who later joined attorneys outside court. This is so far the only way she's been allowed to see him is for the limited period of time when he's brought before the court. Guzman, who was once listed by Forbes magazine as one of the most powerful people in the world, faces life in prison. Scott prosecutors say his criminal operations were worth more than $14 billion. DeMarco Morgan.